Hello, this is Rice Snow. So this time I'm gonna explain how to make this window full screen. It would be nice if you could play your game in full screen mode. So this is another request I've received recently and uh, I've never tried this full screen mode so I did a, a little research and actually it was much more tricky than I thought. So Java is very old language, so whenever you try to search something, usually you find a proper answer. But uh, in this case, it was a bit difficult to find uh, good information about my purpose. But uh, at least I could find out a way, and uh, I think I should show the result first. Okay, so this is the result program. If you click this button, then uh, this window changes to the full screen mode. My desktop recorder shut down whenever it goes to full screen mode. So let me use the camera on my smartphone. So this is a normal window. So 800 pixel and uh, 600 pixel window. And uh, if you click this start button, so. Oh yeah, and my screen capture software just shut down. So but you can see the title screen in full screen. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, I think. Mm. And if you click this start button again, then you can go back to this window mode. Mm. So that's what we are going to create this time. So this is the default game screen window so basically the same title screen we have created before so probably most of you guys already know how to make this but uh, let me explain a uh, real quick basically to create this window we are using uh, one two three four five objects i think so window jframe title name panel so we placed this title name panel around here and uh, placed this title name label j label on this panel and also start button panel around here and start button j button on this panel and that's basically everything and so how to set full screen mode okay first we're gonna use a thing called a graphics device and uh, i'm gonna name this as a gd device and uh, import graphics device and then inside of this main constructor we're gonna type like this graphics environment I'm gonna name this G environment hmm. and import this as well so we're gonna use this graphics device and the graphics environment and actually after this g environment equal graphics environment mistyping somewhere environment okay and get local this one graphics environment mm, so sounds yeah kind of complicated and after this we're gonna use this g device device this one g device and the equal g environment dot get default screen device so let me explain what these mean a little bit. Okay, so this basically means uh, this lets your video card or graphic device to access access your monitor. This default screen device means uh, usually your monitor. So something displaying the screen. So usually it's it's monitor. Or if it's laptop, then uh, it's uh, like a screen of your laptop. Because, you know, you need to use your graphic device and access to your monitor to enable full screen. 
So now we can use this G device to set full screen. Okay, let's make a new method. Public void. Yeah. Like set full screen method. And here we're gonna use this graphic device and set full screen window. And inside of this round bracket, we're gonna type window, our J frame. And okay, so for now, let's call this set full screen window from here. Uh, what? Hmm. Okay, so I wanna check the program. Again, I'm gonna use my smartphone. Sorry for the inconvenience. This is really inconvenient actually. Okay, let's run this program. Oh. Yeah, so mm, it looks like this. Yeah, as you can see, mm, yeah, it's full screen, but uh, this doesn't look cool, right? So actually just enabling full screen is not so difficult. You can find a lot of information on the internet, but we are making a game, so when the screen size becomes bigger, then uh, we want to make these objects bigger as well. We need to scale these objects as well. So the problem is how to scale these objects and adjust to the new screen size. Mm. So it didn't go well because we have set these X, Y, width and height for these panels manually so we could specify the coordinates and the size. Right now, screen size is 800 pixel and 600 pixel. But if you set full screen, in my case, full screen size is uh, 1920 pixel and uh, 1080. So naturally, you know, it's just uh, only screen size enlarged like this and uh, these panels and the text uh, stays at the same spot. So that's what happened earlier. And uh, so it would be nice if there is a uh, like auto adjusting function or something like that. But I couldn't find it. And so we cannot use these kind of numbers. So then I thought, okay, then I need to input this value as a ratio or a percentage of the screen. For example, this window is 800 pixel and 600 pixel. And this title name panel, okay, let me change blue color. Okay, so this window size is 800 pixels. And this title name panel, this blue one, the width is 600 pixel. So that means, let me use this calculator. If you divide 600 by 800, the answer is 0 0.75. So basically 75% of the total width. So I decided to use this kind of a, like a not exact number, but a ratio. So for example, when screen size becomes uh, 1920 width, like a full screen, and if you times 0 0.75 again, then this is the width of this uh, title name panel in full screen mode. So now we cannot type number here. So instead we're gonna use variable like integer and uh, like a title name panel and x title name panel y and uh, title name panel and the width and the uh, title name panel height okay so let me comment out and I'm gonna use these numbers so I, I don't want to delete this line but okay and copy and paste and uh, instead let me paste these integer variables here and I think it's not initialized yeah okay and uh, we're gonna make 
another variable. Okay, I think it's here, and uh, we're gonna make two integers, and the one is current screen width. The other one is current screen height. And okay, so first, if we use this 800 and 600 as the default screen size, then uh, we're gonna set size here with equal 800. And the current screen height is 600. And uh, we will not use this number anymore. And uh, here, uh, maybe, maybe we can, uh, I don't know, maybe we can still use this, but I think this is better. And so yeah, now initialize these four variables. First one, when the screen size is 800 and 600, then uh, this title name panel X is 100. So that means, so 100 uh, by 800, 0 0.125. So maybe you would think this kind of formula, calculation, current screen width times 0 0.125. Current screen width is 800. So 800 times 0 0.125 will be 100. So this calculation should be correct, but uh, it gives you an error. Uh, type mismatch cannot convert from double to int. Mm. Yeah, basically it says this calculation contains decimal. So, and uh, this int is integer, so it cannot contain decimal value. That's why it gives you an error. So then, uh, okay, then why not use double? I think we, I've never used this double in my tutorial, but uh, this is similar to integer, but uh, it contains a uh, decimal value as well. So like uh, this kind of number, 0 0.125. So error disappeared. But problem is, this set bounds, it accepts only integer. So we cannot use double. So we will not use double here. But instead, we're going to rewrite this formula a little bit. We're going to type like this, int and uh, mass and round. And inside of this round bracket here. So this code rounds. The number and put it into this integer. So this way even if the calculation contains decimal value but you can still accept it as an integer. So we can use this here. And the next one is this y. y is also 100 here. So basically we're gonna time this 0.125 but there is a little difference round and this time not current screen width but uh, we're gonna use this height and times 0 0.125 hmm. and okay so the next one is this panel width so this is uh, 600 what was it? 0 0.75, I think. Yeah, 0 0.75. So, okay, let's copy this. So, we're gonna use this uh, current screen width again. And this time, not 0 0.125, but uh, 0 0.75. And also, okay. And this time, panel height is 150. 150. So let's do the calculation, 150 by uh, 600, so 0 0.25, so this one is 0 0.25, and uh, yeah, let's do this start bottom panel as well, 
yeah we're gonna do the same thing basically yeah, first let me delete these numbers and also change the, the name of this, these variables okay so this is start bottom panel so start bottom panel SBP 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 so first X is 300 so 300 by 800 so 0 0.375 0 0.375 y is 400 so 400 by 600 okay 0 0.666 okay I, I i think you you don't have to type everything because it's very small difference so you only need to type 0 0.666 or something so 200 by 800 and 0 0.25 and finally uh, 100 so that means we we've, we've already done this calculation so this will be 0 0.125 100 comment out uh, okay let's paste these variables hmm okay so let's check this is working or not so okay let me disable this full screen but uh, run with normal mode okay so yeah although we are no longer using these lines with uh, specific numbers but still it is displayed like before for example if you change this number 1600 and 900 and run this program so now it looks like this now the panel has expanded according to the new screen size but there is still one problem the font size hasn't changed we also need to scale the font size as well so that's the next step and uh, we set up this font when this class is created but this doesn't work this time so we need to we need to create a method to create font public void and create font or something okay let's copy this and uh, okay change this like this and uh, so setup is done inside of this method create font method so this time we cannot use this kind of a specific number 90 font size 90 means uh, so when uh, we've changed this but uh, when screen size was 800 and 600 and then we use the 90 size font so yeah simply you just need to divide this 90 by 800 it is 0 0.1125 so I'm gonna make another integer here and uh, title font size and equal this is basically same mass round and the current screen width uh, times 0 0.1125 and instead of 90 we're gonna use this title font size and uh, also normal font size equal int current screen width and okay let's calculate so 28 28 by 800 so 0 0.035 and replace this with normal font size yeah that's it and uh, I think we should move this component creation code to a uh, individual method so we can easily access it okay maybe after this public void create I'm gonna name this as a uh, 
UI コンポーネント。But you can choose whatever name you want, but and、uh, I'm gonna move these、uh, t h i n g I think I will leave this window inside of this main method, but I'm gonna move other stuff here. Create component window. So, this way, whenever you want to change the screen size, you just need to call this method. So, in this case, inside of this main method, first call this、uh, create font method. Then, after that, create UI component.、Hmm. Okay, let's check this. Mm. Okay, so now the font is also bigger, so everything is scaled to the new screen size. So if you change this 800, 600 again, then yeah, it becomes like this. So we are almost done, but、uh, we, we, our initial purpose is you know, set this full screen. So let's go back to the full screen mode. And so I want to make this program. So, if you click the start button, then、uh, it becomes full screen. To do that, so let's add、um, action listener to the start button. Action listener. And、uh, let's make h a n d l e r Okay, I'm gonna name this full screen h a n d l e r And so here. Yeah, call this method set full screen. Full screen. And also,、uh, wait, uh, initialize this、uh, full screen handler、uh, FSH or something. Equal new full screen handler. And add this FSH to this action listener. So now this start button works.、Hmm. So when you click start button, then it's gonna call set full screen. So it's gonna enter the full screen mode. And so after this, we need to, we need to know this current screen width. Because the width and the height of the full screen is different depending on the device. In my case, my full screen size is、uh, 1920 1080, but maybe it's, it's different. If you are using laptop, maybe it's、uh, 1440 and、uh, 900 or something like that. So, so, anyway, so we need to know what's the new width and what's the new height. So, to check that, You can type like this and window.getWidth. So it's pretty simple. So this is how you get the current screen width. And、uh, get also screen height equal window.getHeight. Okay. So go to the full screen mode, then it detects the full screen size. So now we're gonna call this method create font and also create UI compo component. So we're gonna do this again create font again and create UI component again, but with new current width, screen width, and a new current screen height. Okay. Let's check this program. So I changed these numbers to 800 and 600 again. So the default numbers again. So let's run this program. Hmm. So, hmm. <laughs> How to explain this? But apparently it doesn't look good. So, yeah, it enters the full screen and、uh, these 
objects are scaled correctly, but still, we, we can still see that these old size, you know, objects as well. So whenever we change the screen size, we need to remove or delete the old components. So otherwise, you know, we will see the old stuff like that. Okay, so to do that, so here, you can type like this, window dot remove, and inside of here, you can type like panel, title name panel, window dot remove, and uh, start bottom panel. And the, after this, also window dot dispose. So basically it means like a clearing garbage, all the stuff. And also if you click the start button again, then uh, we want to go back to the default window, window mode. So let's take care of that too. I'm gonna make another method here and name this as a end full screen or something. And here, first window dot, basically this is same title name panel. So discard the old stuff, remove, start bottom panel yeah dispose so this these three lines are exactly the same and the next one is so we're gonna use this G graphic device again and the set full screen window and this time inside of this round bracket we type null so this is going to stop the full screen mode and go back to the window mode. And uh, OK. Then we need a new screen width and screen height. If your default window size is 800 and 600, then uh, you can input number like this, I think. And 600. And again, create font and create UI component. Okay, maybe, and also, okay, and uh, yeah. Right now we cannot access this end full screen method, so, okay, then uh, let me make another variable here. Uh, okay, let's use boolean, and uh, I'm gonna name this as a full screen on. Hmm. And maybe we should set the default value uh, full screen on. And so default is let's make this false. So program starts with a uh, window mode. So we can use this boolean. So if statement and uh, full screen on. Uh, false. So this means uh, if it's not full screen right now. And uh, if you press this start button, then uh, let's call this set full screen method. And uh, also, yeah, let's change this value to true because now it's a uh, full screen, uh, not equal. Yeah, and else if full screen on true so it's already a uh, full screen then uh, now let's go back to window mode so now full screen is false and uh, what is it and full screen hmm. so we don't need to call this set full screen method from this create UI component now because we want to start the program from uh, window mode. And uh, also, okay, wait a minute. Let's let's change this blue to black again. Black. Okay, and I think 
this is done. This program is done. So let's check. Okay, here we go. I hope this works. Okay, so first it starts from window mode. Mm. So 800 and 600. Okay, let's press this start button. Okay, so now it enters a full screen mode. And if you click the start button again. Now, yeah, it goes back to the window mode. Hmm. So I have implemented this full screen function to the adventure. So, so you can play this game now, full screen now. It looks pretty cool. I think. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So that's how you set up full screen mode and the scale objects to the new screen size. But actually, I'm thinking to make one more video about this full screen stuff because. This is working just fine for this adventure, but if your game has a visual image like a PNG or JPEG files, then uh, you need to do a little more adjustment. So basically you need to change the size of your image. So I think I'm going to explain it in my next video. But anyway, I hope this video is useful for you and thanks for watching and see you again. Bye.